Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video I'm going to show you how you can change your cursor. It's just for fun really. You might want to do it to slightly customize your Chromebook. It won't work for your Chrome OS system. It works when you're using a browser. So first of all you need to go to Google and then type in Chrome Web Store. Come there. It's on extensions already and type in custom cursors and go to sorry custom cursors not customer cursors custom cursors we're not going to use that one click on more extensions and the one we want is this one here custom cursor for Chrome so if you don't want to search for it if you just do custom cursor for Chrome and it should come up at the top. No, it doesn't, that's bizarre. But that's the one we want to use. So you want to find custom cursor for Chrome, click on that and then put add to Chrome, add extension, that's fine. There's over 5 million users and they've got great, quite a lot of stars. I don't think we have anything to worry about. So in here once you've got this done that's fine that is now an extension so you can close that if you want to that's absolutely fine and close that I've opened up a new chrome browser then go to your extensions to get to your extensions if you've got this here that will get you to your extensions and you'll see it there custom cursor for chrome click on that and it allows you to choose just some basic cursors like that if you want which is fine and there's lots of different cursor types you can choose. You'll also always have two because you'll have one when you're not hovering over something that you can choose and then when you hover over something you can choose you'll have a different cursor because that's a black cursor. Hover over, hover over something you can choose and it turns to a white sort of hand. Um, so what we're going to do, you can use them obviously, there's lots of different ones available. We, I'm going to show you how to do your own. So it's this here, upload cursor. Now, if you upload cursor, it tells you here that you need it needs to be one to eight pixels by one to eight pixels, and it needs to be a transparent background. If you didn't have a transparent background, you just have a big square block for a cursor. So you wouldn't want to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if we just close that down, I'm going to do it in Google Slides. Google Slides you get for free, so it works absolutely fine. There's no problem. Um, let me just get rid of this custom cursor first of all. So I didn't want to choose that um, custom cursor. Let me just choose a standard one. There we go. Google Slides, and then I want to make a new slide blank presentation get rid of them and we need to go to file page setup change this to custom change that to pixels and it's one to eight as it said we saw earlier one to eight so that's now the cursor size we need to make it transparent now so to do that click on background color here change that to transparent and then press done and that's it. You've got all this space now to create a cursor. You can put whatever you want on here. You need two. You need one for when it's not on over selected something, and you need one for when it is over like that. So you'd need to create two. So if I do a very, very quick one just to show you, and then obviously you can do whatever you want going forward. Oh, uh, this is going to end up looking. There we go. Um, stretch that a bit maybe so it's going to be quite a big curse you don't have to use the whole space if you don't want to but if you do then fine you can do I'll just use up to there so this is going to be the cursor when nothing is selected and I'll quickly save that as the only thing is it looks a bit maybe if we shrink it a bit no undo I want to, you to know that this part here is the top 
obviously it will show that way but I think you could add something else as well so maybe if I add another shape on top of that perhaps right, let me just right. control C control V to get another one of them a really small one I want a really large one scroll up here so you got the whole page and this oh, oh. And this i want to be there like that um stretch it out a bit like that there we go so that's what i meant something like that and then this one here i'm going to change that to a slightly different color maybe black or something like that and then a file download now you can't download it as a jpeg and the reason why is jpeg jpeg so it doesn't consider transparency so you have to use png because that's the only one that considers transparency if you did jpeg your cursor wouldn't be this it would be this so you'd have that big white square which you don't want so it's png and i have already had a mess about with this so that's why i've got them there so i'll just overwrite them cursor one so to save it, it's whatever you want to call it, wherever you want to save it. Cursor one, that's that done. And then I'm going to have a cursor two. And what I'm going to do for cursor two, I'm not going to have this change, this little bit here. I'm going to get this bigger bit here to change color. As I said, you don't have to do it this way. You could you could have a completely different shape for cursor two if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Um, so if I go to, and I'm going to put a gradient on it. I'm going to put it as a nice blue. Blue is my favourite colour. So that's what will happen when you highlight over something. And then File, Download, PNG. And I'm going to call that Cursor 2. And then Save. OK. You could even put text in here if you wanted to. Bearing in mind the text wouldn't look too big, but you could do. It's no problem doing that if you wanted to. Um, I'll quickly show you what I mean. So you could just put a text box in there and just put you could anything you want. I'm just doing something. So I'd select. So you could have this because this is going to be when you're over something to select. And then you could spin that. So if you go on that part there, you can spin that around to try and get it the same. Move it up a bit like that. Try and get it spot on to an extent or oh, it's not easy to get exact on um, it needs to be turned a bit it's still not perfect you could mess about to get this perfect but i'm going to leave it as that for now i think and i'm going to change that to white like that select and then file download png and this is our cursor two. So type cursor two or whatever you want. I've already got one there. Cursor two, save, and then OK. So that's all done. I'm sure we saved that as PNG. Yep, that's fine. So close down that. Close down that. Open up a Chrome browser. Go to your extensions here and custom cursor for Chrome. Click on that and then upload cursor there. And then here you've got your two cursors. This is the one the standard one, which is this, and this is your select one. So it's when you're selecting. So you click on that, and that's my standard one. Now looking at the one what looks selected, that one looks a bit boring, so I might change them later to make them look nicer. So choose that, and then choose that one as well, the selected one, and choose that. So now you've done that, they're in there, Go back to the browser, extensions, click on cursor, custom cursor for Chrome, and there's your My Collection at the top. Just choose that, and that's it. You've got your cursor made. One thing I would show you, see how it's not showing. I, I, I think this is a, perhaps a little bug, so it's not great. But as soon as you then go to a website, so when you first open Chrome browser, it doesn't seem to kick in. It only kicks in once you've gone to a website. So whether you went to Facebook or just to Google, for example, and then it would kick in. 
So there you can see, so if we put in Chrome Computing TV, and there you can see there, so when, you, when you're not selected, it's gray. When you do select something, it's the blue with the little select. I think that's quite cool. So you can do anything you want. You could obviously put pictures of your pets or your family, but bearing in mind it's a very small space. And also, if you had a picture, you most likely wouldn't have the transparency. You'd have to put a picture through um, a green string to get it transparent. But yes, that's a way to customize your cursor. I quite like that. It would have been much nicer if I could have it customized that way for when I'm in the Chrome um, web operating system as well. However, Chrome OS quite rightly so, it doesn't give access to any programs into the operating system. So it is just for the browser. So yep, that's it. If you liked, please like the channel and subscribe for future videos. And thanks for watching.